Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 7. Inside this video session guys, we will see all about views in Laravel 8. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KPHV4, CodeIgniter4, MySQL and WordPress, so you must visit this blogging website once. Inside this blogging website, we have several articles with interesting, interesting topics. Now if I back to browser, this is the website called onlinewebtutorblog.com. Inside this, we can see that we have several categories like MySQL, WordPress, CodeIgniter4 and many more. Inside this, we can find several interesting blog articles. So you should visit once inside this blogging website and read your articles. So back to the topic, inside this video, we are going to see that how we can use views in Laravel 8. So the first question comes in our mind that is, what are views in Laravel 8 or simply what are views? So views are the presentational files which presents or displays data to end users. Now inside this video, we will see that how many ways to call a view file. Now if I back to editor, in the last video, we had discussed all about in the deep concept of routings in Laravel 8. Inside that video, we have covered lots of things. So, Basically, we have several options by the help of which actually we can call a view file and I think some of them actually we had already discussed. That is, this is a closer route. Inside this, we have a route as well as we have an anonymous function. When we type this welcome page, now this is going to call means it has an anonymous function and inside this function, it is going to return a view file. So here, it is calling view file from resources folder and views folder. And it is using welcome.blade.php. So this is the first way to call a view file by the help of closer routes. In the second, we had seen that by the help of controller. If I make uncomment of this line, here we have route, kit method, this is our route called services, we are passing two parameters called id and name and inside this we have linked a service controller, it's a class and inside this service controller we are calling index method. Now if I press control B, go inside controllers folder. And here inside this controllers folder, we have a service controller and inside this service controller, we are calling index method. Now inside this index method, we have used the same like return and view function and inside this view function, we have the name of the view file. So it is also calling services.blade.php. So here, it's a second way to actually call a view file. In the third, if we go again back to web.php, let's uncomment this line. So here we have used a view method. Inside this route view method, here we have the route name and here it's a view file. So it is calling when we type services into the URL. So it is calling called services.play.php. So we have three different ways to call a view file by the help of closer routes to test any route means in a urgent in bypassing inside this web.php. In the second, we can use this view method. In the third, by using a controller class file. So these are the ways. Now in the next topic, we will see that how can we pass data to our view file. So simply let's start with a closer route. So here I'm going to create a closer route something let's say get and what I will do first of all I'm going to make comment of all the routes what we have defined inside this file. So simply commented 
go here let's say route get inside this this is our route let's say about us here we have an anonymous function because we are going to use a closer route inside this simply let's return view and let's say that we have a file called about and as we know that it is calling a view file from resources folder views folder and file is something about dot blade dot php now if we save press ctrl b go inside resources folder views folder let's create a view file something about dot blade dot php now inside this file first of all let's pass a static message so welcome to about us page if we save these two files back to the browser we have already started our development server as we can see php artisan serve so what i will do simply type about hyphen us now as we can see that welcome to about us page so let's say that we need to pass some value to our view file either we can pass the value by the help of some parameters into the url or simply let's say a static value so in the first let's say that we are going to pass a parameter value inside url so here we are passing a name after getting the name value from this url we are passing into the anonymous function and simply let's pass this name value inside this view file so we have also several ways to pass values to our view file so this is the first way by making an array so here inside this array let's say that this is the key and this is the value keep in mind this is the value actually we are getting inside this function and inside this function we are getting from this url so what i will do simply back to about dot blade dot php because we are receiving this name key so what i will do simply let's say within any html element we are going to print that value so this is the blade syntax to print any value now here it's a key you can define your own custom key like name i have defined and simply i am printing it here so now if we save all these changes go and reload this page and as we know that this will get actually 404 because we need to pass a value inside this so simply let's say online web tutor now if we press enter as we can see that we are getting value inside our view file again back here let's say that without passing this value simply I want to pass values means some more values inside this view file like we have email so here I need to pass email address let's say we are passing name go to view toggle word wrap so here we have the key called email name so to print all these values inside our view file simply what i have to do this is for the name and same for the email address the key we have called the email save all these changes go and reload this page and this time again we are getting 404 because the parameters we actually don't need to pass press enter so inside this view file called about.blade.php now we are getting all about the name and the email address so this is the first way to pass the value inside this view file in the second what i will do simply cut this array let's say the data equal to this is the array of data and simply and to pass this variable here so this is the alternative way of the same approach as we are getting values inside this view file now in the third we are going to make use of the compact function of php 
Now inside this compact function, we need to pass the variable's name in the format of some value. So as we know that, what I will do simply, let's if I cut this email value from here, let's say we have email If I cut this name value from here, let's say it's a name and get rid of this array values. Now here we have email and name two variables defined. So inside this compact function, we are going to use these variables as the values. So here we have email and here we have the name. Keep in mind, these are the variables. Now if we save to receive these values to our view file, so here we have used name and email. So if we save, go here, reload this page and as we can see that we are getting the same value. So suppose we have an application and that application consists of the application modules like database connection, database queries models concept, eloquent relationships. So in that condition, if we want to pass data of database to a view file, so in the same approach, actually we will get data here and those data actually we will pass inside this view file in the same way. So this is the first way to call a view file by the help of closer routes. Now in the second, let's say that the same parameters we are going to pass in case when we are calling a controller file. So what I will do, let's say that simply I am going to make comment of this line. So when we uncomment this line, this route is simply calling a service controller. So let's say that we are not going to actually pass any parameters because about passing parameters into the URL, we already we had discussed. So when I open this service controller, go to index method, we are not receiving any parameters. So simply in the same way, we can pass our parameters here and receive inside this services.play.php. So if I back to web.php, go inside this closer route, let's say that these are the two values we are going to use inside this. So here we have called name and email value go inside this view function let's say that we are going to make use of our compact and inside this compact function i'm going to use our values called email and in the second we have called the name value so if we save these changes only next we need to receive these values inside this view file press ctrl b go inside resources, views and services.play.php open up this file and inside this file let's use our bleed syntax to print any value this is for the name and here this is for the email address so if we save all these changes go here instead of about us if we type let's say services and service controller does not exist and it's because if we go inside this web.php already we had discussed that if we are calling any controller so first we need to import that inside this web.php file this is the new syntax of Laravel 8 so what I will do simply let's say use it's a service controller so let's say service controller successfully we have imported go and reload this page and as we can see that it is working this is a static message this is the name and after this name value next we have the email address so successfully guys this is the second way by the help of that actually by the help of this controller based concept we can pass our parameters from this controller in the third approach, we had seen to call a view file by the help of view method. As we can see here, so inside this case, how can we pass parameters as what we had did for this, let's say closer routes for this controller based routes. So inside this case, simply if I make comment of this line, uncomment that. So inside this third parameter, 
as we know that the first parameter is the route name, second is the view file and in the third actually we can pass our parameter values. So simply what I will do, make a comment, sorry comma and inside this intelligence as we can see that it is saying that we need to pass our data. So let's make an array, inside this simply we are going to pass let's say inside services.blade.php inside this file we need name and email value. So inside this simply let's say this is the name and we are going to pass our test name and for the email value let's say that test at the red test.com. Now if we save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting a test name as well as a test email address. So successfully guys inside this video we had seen that we have three different ways to call a view file by the help of closer routes, controller based concept as well as by using view method. And also we had seen that how can we pass our values to any of the view file inside any of the method. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.